everlasting to everlasting, you are still the same. Thank you, Lord, that you are the God that never changes. You're the God that never turns. You are still the same. You're so glorious. Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we thank you and we worship you. Thank you for redeeming our lives from destruction, Lord. Thank you for crowning us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Satisfying our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. We glorify you in this place. We thank you, Jesus. Without you, that we, we know we can do nothing. But as we abide in you, Lord, we know we can do all things through you who gives us the strength, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Another great day to come and celebrate and encourage one another, celebrate our freedom in Christ that we have, and also give Him our praises and receive wisdom from Him. I love the psalm in one, Psalm 103 that tells us that He redeems our life from destruction. Destruction is all around us in the world. And the enemy is the one who comes to destroy, as John 10.10 10 says. And the scripture in Psalm 103 says that He redeems our life from destruction. Hallelujah. Redeems is He. He brings us out of destruction, out of any kind of um, thing that would destroy our lives. He brings us out of it. In fact, Psalm 91 says that surely that even in the noisome pestilence or when there is plagues going on around us, that He delivers us out of those plagues. He delivers us. Our God brings great deliverance. Even when he brought the children of Israel, it says he brought them out with a strong hand. That's the God that we serve who brings us out of destruction. Aren't you thankful that we serve a God who delivers us? Amen. He, he frees us. He keeps us. When we are dwelling in his secret place, in the Most High, we abide under him. We are kept safe and secure from destruction. And we can overcome when the enemy brings his darts against us like as the book of Ephesians chapter 6 says that, you know, take up the shield of faith so you can quench every fiery dart of the enemy. Maybe it's a fiery dart is bringing against you of fear, a fiery dart of sickness and disease. Your faith can quench, put a stop to every one of those darts. That's what our faith is. And the word says, have faith in God. And that when we, when we have faith in God, then we can speak to the mountain. It's not our faith through which we speak to mountains. It's the faith we have in God that we can speak to the mountain. So when that mountain of fear is rising up against you, anxiety is rising up against you, sickness and disease, it shows itself as a mountain, you speak to that mountain. You say, no, you have no authority. Be removed out of my life and be cast into the sea. And the word of God says, it shall obey you when you don't doubt in your heart. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. He has given us faith to move mountains. Faith to quench any dart that comes against you. Hallelujah. We're going to sing about our redemption this morning. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here as we praise the Lord together. And wherever you might be watching from, there's no distance in receiving from the Lord or receiving whatever it is that you might be believing for. As you're worshiping Him, keep your eyes on Him. And looking unto Jesus because he's the author and the finisher of your faith. And you know, anytime you get weary and discouraged, look at Jesus. Consider him. As he overcame the world, so can you overcome. Because we're not in ourselves anymore, we are in Christ. And because we are in him, we can overcome anything in this life. That's what he told us. He said, be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And because we have him in us, we have the same overcoming ability that he has. Hallelujah. So we pray that you be blessed. Join us and sing with the lyrics on the screen. Hallelujah. Let's sing about our redemption. We're redeemed from the curse of sin. Sickness and poverty. Sin, sickness and poverty is a curse. Don't accept that as a blessing. Don't think that it is something you have to live with all your life. It's a curse and you can be redeemed from it. Because Jesus paid a heavy price to redeem you from that. And daily confess and declare boldly that you are redeemed from the curse. You Satan hates when we talk about our redemption. He hates when you talk about the blood of Jesus. Because he knows that's where he was defeated. 
the more you talk about the blood the more you believe what the blood has done for you you'll begin to see wow i'm walking in the blessing and not under the curse walking in the blessing is much better than to live the rest of your life living in that doubt and unbelief but let's choose to say yes i've been bought out of the curse i'm not under the curse anymore i am free in jesus name hallelujah let's look at each other and say we are redeemed by the blood of jesus we are redeemed, redeemed by, by the blood of jesus, of jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing about redemption.
you we can do nothing father but with you we can do all things hallelujah praise the name of jesus hallelujah we bless you lord Again and again, I 
John 15 tells us to abide in Jesus and as we abide in Him, His words abide in us, we can ask whatever we will. 
And he also tells us that um, without him, we can do nothing. So it's our abiding in him through which we can do all things. He said, without me, you can do nothing. So let's come to the place where we realize, Lord, with you, I have strength. With you, I have ability. With you, nothing is too difficult. When we put him in the center of our lives, we begin to see that God just gives us the grace to do what we need to do in life. Nothing is too hard for him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I just pray right now for people. And I pray for even those who are here and those who are viewing us, Lord. I thank you that you give them supernatural strength, Lord, for the things that they're facing ahead in life. Thank you, Jesus, that they would learn to depend on you, Father, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Lord, you said, Father, that when we come unto you, that we can find rest in you, Lord. And so I thank you for giving us rest, Father, not to be worried and concerned in life, but, Lord, to know that as we come unto your word, that we find rest and we find ease for our souls. And we worship you, Lord, and we praise you and honor you and thank you that you are in this place, working with us, confirming your word with signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, amen.